Tulsa County recognized a volunteer group for helping people recover from the June storms as the cleanup continues. News on 6's Emery Bryan has this story. The fleet of grapple trucks out picking up limbs are in number nine of the 11 zones where they'll work. It's the first pass on this street near 61st and Sheridan where the neighbors have been waiting. Yes, we yeah. saw the trucks when we were coming in the neighborhood and we were hoping we were next. Each truck can haul 74,000 pounds of material and the trailer that much or more. The trucks will be out for at least two more weeks. Tulsa Emergency Management says the debris pickup is going a little faster than expected, in part because there's less debris than first predicted. While this was a, a tremendous amount of green waste, historically it's still not even close to our, our storm of record as far as green waste debris go. So far, the county contractor has picked up 600,000 cubic yards of trees and limbs, while the total from the 2007 ice storm was 2.7 million cubic yards. While the government cleanup is not over, the charities that helped out are moving on. Wish to extend their appreciation to Samaritan's Purse. For their Tulsa County is recognizing yeah. Samaritan's Purse for its work with homeowners. The charity handled cleanup at 595 homes mainly around Sand Springs. Their volunteers worked 12,000 hours. So many of the people that we serve are those without the resources to get that work done themselves. And so we can be that helping hand that gets them started. FEMA is paying most of the cost for the cleanup, which started one month ago. The trucks will make one pass through the city, then a second sweep where it's needed. In Tulsa, Emory Bryan, Oklahoma's own News on 6.